Hello and welcome to my video on the MTH, TIU, and AIU. This is for those that would like to control other things beyond the basic accessory uh, control. As example, items that draw a much higher current load, including track power or bank of accessories, sections, whole sections of your layout, even the room lighting. We'll get into that in just a moment. For this setup, I'm using a single TIU with the only thing connected to it is an MTH 21 volt power supply. This is constant power to the auxiliary power input. I do not have uh, any other transformer connected or any type of track power to it. This is only again to control the TIU out through the control cable to a single AIU. Now you can daisy chain up to as many as five AIUs off of a single TIU. So you have a lot of expansive capabilities. And of course, there you can control switches and accessories off a single TIU. As many as 10 accessories, in this case, is what we're referring to off of the uh, AIU. So if you have uh, items or a bank of items, accessories, track uh, power, you want to control that are above the 3 amp limit. This is an option that you can add. 10 amp relays, which I have here, I have a bank of eight. Now you can buy these in two packs, four packs, up to eight, and then just pair those up how you need to. They do need a power supply. In this case, I'm using a five volt DC. Actually, I don't think the 0 0.5 milliamps is quite correct. I believe it to be a little higher than that. I think it's actually two amps power supply. And it is enough power that you could control up to two of these if you wanted to. But they, it's probably recommended that, <clears throat> I don't think I would go more than a total of 10 relays. So in other words, we could add two more to this uh, power, power supply, and you'd have plenty of power. Um, in the background here, you'll see that I've got a, uh, a uh, grounding bar. And I have a power connector that I uh, took out of a router, actually, used to connect into the power supply. Now, you could clip the end off and do, do something a little nicer than that, but... But for this, that's what I end up using. The uh, the power supply, or sorry, excuse me, the relays came from uh, eBay, and then I got the other pieces through Jameco. And at the end of this, I'll list all that for you. Basically, you took one six conductor uh, Arduino, uh, I believe it's pronounced connector, split, cut that in two, and then divide it, and then move the wires accordingly around to uh, to uh, suit my needs. Power supplied here on the red line, the wire comes in off the 5 volt uh, DC power supply, and the ground is on the outside, the far right side, which, which connects off of the uh, power supply here. Then grounded, and then the relays are grounded here, you can see going to the end, and then out number one, which triggers the relays on this 8 bank. Now in my layout, I've been using the relays to, to control track power. I love to do that. Uh, I've been using Lionel 180 watt power bricks through these relays to control track power. That's a perfect match. 180 watts, 10 amps at 18 volts. and It, it works very, very well. Uh, you could do this with either side of a Z4000, old ZWs, that type of thing. I would recommend late model power supplies with circuit breakers though, however. Or if not, if you run the old ZWs, is to put circuit breakers in line. Uh, some prefer fuses, but circuit breakers are a little faster to get to if they pop, and they, they work very well. For this, I'm going to show that, uh, or assume anyway, let's assume that we have an electrical panel connection coming here, which right now I just have an extension cord, and basically showing 120 volts, uh, 20 amp circuit fed in here to the relay. 
Now we could put a circuit breaker in here. I would recommend a 10 amp and then we could have one here also on this side. One to protect the relays on either side here. And I'm using 14 gauge wire for this. And I just have a single outlet that I put together. I have a fan plugged into it. Again, just using it for demonstration purposes only. And a light. And it's currently right now turned on. I have power coming off my power strip into my brick here. Power in the TIU. Sending control signal out to the AIU. Which then is tripped. Tripping the heavier relays. Sending the 120 volts completing the circuit to the outlet out to a fan up to a light basically in essence all we're doing is we're putting a switch a light switch in the, in the circuit now again I'm only controlling one of these right now but we could of course have individual accessories come off of each one of these individual relays again right now I only just have one connected although they are connected on this side as you'll see in just a moment Okay, now that we have our system all plugged in and ready to go, we need to program our DCS remote. So for some of you, this may be a bit of review. We go to menu, scroll to system, scroll to accessory setup, click on add accessory, we're on TIU1, AIU1, and let's say we want to program accessory channel 3. We select that, we scroll through here and give it a name, and we're done. Go to the letter D, we're done. And let's assume that we've already done that. Now when we go to accessories, we should, we should see our items. In this case, I've already pre-programmed channel 1 and channel 2. I call them track 1 and track 2. Uh, this is because I've used uh, the Lionel power packs for uh, track power and used this system to control that, and it works very well. So now uh, we're set, we're already highlighted on the track one, or channel one rather. And I can just hit the on button, and on goes our light, or, or our accessory, and back off again. Now perhaps maybe we want to trigger everything. So we can hit the all button, then hit on, and it'll trigger all the relays. As you see example here, you'll see the red lights on the relays. Back off, back on again. Back to individual relays, hit the back button, and we want to choose number one. It's the only thing I have on it right now currently. Number one, you'll see that only one of them is lit. That's basically it.